ClickUp 3.0 versus Notion, which is the better project management software. Okay, so let's sign up first on both application or both platform. Here in ClickUp, just choose what account to register and then after confirming some details like your email, password, you can choose if you will be using it for work, personal, or school. And then right after, you can also specify how many people you are going to work with. So this is perfect for when you want to have a project tracker for group works or big projects that involve a lot of people. And then here, as you can see, you can customize the focus of your project managers. You can use it for marketing, for creative design, for RT, for HR, and a lot. So just tap here what you think can fit your needs the best. Now, this is more of their own database. So just answer these questions. And then lastly, input a name that will be displayed on your workspace dashboard. And you are now in ClickUp 3.0. Now, moving to Notion. In here, you can choose Google, Facebook, and Apple account to register. You can also choose between team, personal, and for school use. And after that, we are now immediately in the dashboard. Now, let's look into the pricing of both tools. First off, both of them have free options, so you can use the application without entering credit card information. For ClickUp, we have the unlimited business and enterprise priced at $7, $12, and this one is for further contacting. So as you can see, it includes unlimited storage, unlimited dashboard, time trackers, different types of views, and a built-in AI. In the business plan, it has an advanced time tracker, automations, workload management, and timelines. So this is very recommended and useful for formal projects. Now for Notion it is very pretty much the same. We have plus business and enterprise plan priced at $8, $15, and this one is for further contacting as well. So from here, we can see that ClickUp is somehow cheaper than Notion, but Notion's features for the plus plan includes unlimited blocks for teams, unlimited file uploads, 30-day page history, and invite 100 and guests. This one has more offers, advanced page analytics, 90-day page history, and invite 250 guests. Now, comparing the two, ClickUp is more better for larger teams and those requiring advanced project management features. While Notion would be the better choice if your team or you personally primarily needs collaboration, note-taking, and basic project management features. Now, onto its functionality and usage. In ClickUp, we have the home, the inbox, where comments and notifications from the teammates will show. We have the docs tab, where all the documents will be compiled. This is one of the best features of the platform since it can be filtered out into your docs only. The shared docs, workspace, private, assigned, and archived documents. So this will be a great tool for easier navigation of documents. In the dashboard, you have the same filter settings as well. And here under the spaces is where your projects will be placed. Under the everything tab, you will be getting an overview of each project that you have. So its title, the short list of tasks, and its status together with some details. And you can also have different view, which is good. So the view will be sorted by project. The board will be categorized by to do in progress and completed. So basically the status of each task. And lastly, the calendar view so that you can see your timeline. Although here, you can also customize the groupings. So let's say you want to see the task of each of your group mates. You can click on the assignee and then it will then be grouped by each assignee. Now here in the project tabs, you can see a more detailed version of your project. You can click on the plus button if you want to add task. And then in the word view, you can move the task based on its status. So let's say this task one is done. So simply drag it to the completed one. Now beside, you also have the list tab. So this will be a great tool if you have tracking lots of tasks. The calendar, the Gantt view, which basically is the visual representation of a project schedule that displays tasks or events over time. It provides a timeline view of a project, illustrating when each task or activity is scheduled to start and end. So let's say you want to start this task in this day. Simply click on that and then stretch it out until the date where you want it to end. Gantt charts are what we use in project management to help teams and stakeholders understand the project timeline, deficiencies, and progress. 
And last is the table view, which is almost just like the list view. Now for the project notes, this is where you can place full details on your project. So this is a good tool since with AI, you can make it improve your writing, generate templates, write an email, and a lot more for you. Obviously, ClickUp provides a wide range of features, including task management, time tracking, document collaboration, goal tracking, and more. It's versatile and suitable for various project management needs. Now, on the other hand, Notion is known for its flexibility and can be used for project management, note-taking, documentation, and more. It allows users to create custom databases, wikis, and collaborative documents. In the dashboard, you have the search tab where you can type in the title of your project or so-called pages in Notion. For easier navigation, below is the Updates tab. So this is where your notification and deadlines will show. Now diving into the settings, this is one of the best features that Notion has. You can actually connect certain accounts that you actually use in your projects. So for example, you usually store your project files in the Google Drive. So by connecting your Google account in here, you'll be able to import and share files easier. In the settings, you can change the appearance of your account, like the name and display photo. Here in the people, you can add users to be members of your projects. In this way, they will have the access in editing your pages. You can also add guests and control their access. So if you want certain users to just view your project trackers, then put them as a guest only. Moving on to your pages itself, use this new page to add an empty one. But I have here a project management template that I got for free just to have a comparison with ClickUp 3.0. Okay, so just like ClickUp, you can choose on what view you want. This is the default, which is sorted by project. Click on the board to see the task list based on its status. So not started, in progress, and done. You can drag the task here as well. And here is the list view. Now, if you want to add more, click on this and you can add by people, so that is task assigned to each user, and then a timeline view, which will show tasks assigned to you only, and a calendar view. Now, this is the task list, and this is its filter. So, as you can see, this is arranged by its due date, but you can add sortment settings by assignee, priority, or status, just like in ClickUp. Now, what's good in Notion is you can immediately click on a project name. And then each page with the project details is linked into it, so it is faster in checking information. Now, if you want to add specific details in certain tasks, you can click on this open and another page will then open. Here, you can now input details to specify the task more. Now, another feature in Notion that is very flexible is the add icon. So click on the plus icon in a page and here you can choose on what element you will add. So the usual elements like text, to-do list, headers, dividers, and then some media. And this database is the most important part since with this, you can make your projects more organized. So in order to choose what is better between the two, consider first your specific project management needs. ClickUp might be preferable for complex project management with detailed task tracking, while Notion might be suitable for a more flexible and collaborative approach. So that is ClickUp 3.0 versus Notion. Do let us know if this video helped you out. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.